Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to change over money when you shop in a store and you pay in cash you may get a change back as a rule the sale assistant receives using the cash register to calculate the amount to be returned but not always which banknotes and coins to be returned uh, write a program to calculate the remaining of uh, money after your payment the bill and uh, it must has uh, write how many thousands how many five hundred how many hundreds how many fifty how many twenty how many uh, uh, tens how many five how many one and how many uh, 50 cents uh, you get back and it must uh, you calculate and uh, you must also uh, use a rounding uh, if you pay if uh, your bill is three uh, if you rem uh, uh, remain is 371.38 you must get back 371.50 uh, sent uh, back uh, for this we are going to uh, start a program console application and uh, it starts uh, a, a window uh, with those uh, uh, classes included and the class program has a main function and uh, you are going to use another functions too but uh, for this you need uh, a few variables like uh, static float bill and paid static bool uco equals false static string s equals yeah and uh, inside the main function you are going to use while s equals y means yes you will continue you are going to start the uh, payment function or method and uh, here is the uh, public static void payment it doesn't return any uh, number and uh, the number of uh, uh, coins and saddle is uh, 50 cents 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, 500 and 1000 uh, and re-return or return is zero all of them is equal zero you uh, it's their uh, original value is zero and while uko is false you are going to use the console right line please enter the bill and the uh, uh, uko is boolean here it's initiated with false while uko is false and turn the bill and you are going to use a try catch uh, method in try bill equals float dot push console right line because uh, when you enter a number it is a string and you must convert to float and use uh, and uh, use oco equals true and catch exception x uh, and uh, if it is something wrong you are going to you uh, give a error message and then you use uko equals false and you are going to use while uko is false 
a loop until you enter correct value. You are going to say please enter the paid amount and you are going to read it as float variable, put it in paid and if paid bigger or equal bill uko is true else your payment is less than the bill please pay correct amount it is that message you must give it and use it uko equals false and uh, it is try catch method and your uh, if it is something wrong it's up here another error message then you are going to uh, calculate the return as float variable and it is paid minus bill and you are going to use the uh, console right line return is that calculated value return and int ure equals int math run return minus implicit uh, variable of return multiplied by 100 and uh, it uh, gives a descent value and if or uh, less than 25 return int return if it is between 25 and uh, less than 75 you make a send plus plus and our return equals integer of return and else return equals plus one and you have run it int b is return divided by 10 if b equals 9 5 cents uh, 5 dollars is incremented and uh, 2 dollars or 1 dollars with uh, 4 but it is in another uh, language it is okay if b equal 8 5 dollars and 3 one dollars if b equals seven one five dollars and two one dollars if b equals six one five dollars and one uh, one dollar if b equals five one dollar incremented if b equals four is four dollar for one dollars incremented if b is three three one dollars incremented if b is two two uh, two one dollars incremented if b is one one dollar incremented and b equals to return divided by ten reminded by divided of ten and uh, if b is nine uh, you have uh, 150 dollars and uh, 220 dollars if b is 8 in the same way 150 dollars 120 dollars 110 dollars is 7 150 dollars 220 dollars if it is 6 150 dollars 110 dollars is 5 150 dollars is for two twenty dollars is three one twenty dollars one ten dollars if b is two is one twenty dollars is one is one ten dollars <coughs> and b is return divided by hundred reminded by dividing of ten and it is a hundred amount if b nine one five hundred dollars Two two hundred B is eight one uh, five hundred one two hundred one one hundred B is seven one five hundred one two hundred 
if b6 one 500 100 b5 is uh, 1 500 is 4 2 200 is 3 1 1 200 1 100 2 is 1 200 is 1 uh, 100 and b is return divided by thousand the remind uh, by dividing by 10 and uh, the, the number of thousand dollars is uh, plus b and then we are going to write everything uh, console write line uh, thousand ticket is number of thousand 500 number of 500 200 100 50 20 and so on and you are going to ask do you want to continue yes or no and you are going to read the uh, the answer in a string s and it is uko and it's going up there here while while s is yes we are going up till up to here okay now we are going to run Control F5 The bill is uh, uh, 379 dot uh, uh, 36 and enter the bill aha uh -huh. 379 comma 36 now payment is 1000 or 2000 One, one thousand six hundred twenty point sixty four, one thousand, one five hundred, one hundred is six hundred. No fifty, one twenty. No ten. And uh, and no coins, and one fifty cent you are going to get back do you want to continue yes you are going to enter another bill uh, 575 and you are paying uh, 800 and you are going to book back 225 it is 200, 1, 200, 120, and 1, 5. Okay, it was all in this tutorial. And I hope that you have paused the uh, program to copy all those, uh, all those uh, source codes. And he, this file, and then this part. 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 And then this part.
and then this part and then this part okay see you on next tutorial